Hey, I'm Quest, and this is my review of the movie Entourage, starring Adrian Grenier, Kevin Connolly, Kevin Dillon, Jerry Ferrara, and Jeremy Piven. For those of you who don't know, Entourage was actually a TV series by HBO, uh, which I think ran, I want to say ran for five seasons. I have to double check that. But uh, it was a really great HBO show, and I really enjoyed it. Uh, it was basically, I've heard it referred to as lifestyle porn, which is a fair statement. It's, it revolves around this one guy, the star, who's like a, a movie star, Vince and his friends who are his entourage. And the way entourage works, it's basically the main plot of every season, and even this movie, is Vince's career. Not his personal life, or none of their other personal lives or professional lives. The main thread of entourage has always been Vince's career, and everything else, even Vince's own personal life, and all the other guys' lives, um, even Ari Gold's life, be it personal or professional, is always like a B-plot to the, the main story of what's happening in Vince's career. To the point where they do a great job of making the B-plot seem very important. Because I suppose in the, li in the lives of those characters, it, it is really important. And Vince's career is like the, the headliner, but it's not the main thing that everyone's worried about. Everyone's worried about it in the back of their minds, sure, but like everyone has their own thing going on that they're really focused on. And Entourage has always done a really great job of balancing that out as far as I'm concerned. The story of this movie rolls around Vince, tri Vince directing and starring in a, in a movie for the first time. And the, there's some challenges that come up because of he's trying to get more money to finish the film. And there's, it, it's, again, like the, the main plot of the film really in the end kind of fades to the background. It's not really what you come for. It's not the, the main draw. The main draw is the nostalgia that you have with these characters. And unfortunately the show ended, I think, too long ago for this to even work because like when I, I, I went opening night for this. I think the third showing opening night in the, uh, at Cineworld at uh, the O2 and the cinema room was empty. Like I, I was one of maybe 11 people there it was like completely empty which I don't know I don't, maybe they didn't do a great job of marketing maybe they were banking on a nostalgia factor that just wasn't there anymore but like it's just it's, it, and that's a shame too because it was a really entertaining uh, film but I don't know if it's a great entry point for someone who's never seen the series it does I want to say it's not, it doesn't do a poor job of explaining the dynamics of the characters but uh, or, or just what they're coming from or through it just I don't know, it doesn't do it justice. So my rating for this film is, it's a good time if you've got nothing to do. Unfortunately, I highly doubt most of you still care about the, on, the Entourage family. If you do, go check it out. It's, it's worth watching. Uh, if you don't, I don't think this is what's going to bring you into it. I don't think this is the movie that's going to make you start caring or, or want to. Maybe, maybe it is. By all means, if you feel like, if you feel like you want to check it out, you should probably go watch that. And let me know what you think in the comments below. Tell me what you thought of the movie, or tell me who your favorite character in Entourage was or is. It's the right? Mine, as I said, were Turtle and Ari. And drama. That guy's life is just hilarity. I'm sorry. He's he's funny. As I've said before, hit me up on social media. You can find my social media info below in the uh, in the description of this video. Uh, it'll probably be on the screen as well, somewhere around, I want to say here, I'm not sure. Well, it depends on my mood at the time. Um, and, you know, hit me up, let's talk movies, let's talk TV. In fact, I do watch a lot of TV. I do have some TV reviews coming up, actually, so watch out for those. And, um, yeah, bye.